Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to make an automated store for Minecraft. So, um, I'm recording Bedrock Edition but this works fine for Java Edition as well. Don't need to change anything, I actually designed this thing in Java Edition so so that's really cool. And um, yeah, as you can see, here it is, it's really small, it's really simple. And um, down here is your chest with your payments, I chose diamonds and here's um, your stock so I have some smooth stone in there. So and if I um, throw a diamond in here. We'll take the diamonds and you will get um, your thing. So I think there is one left. So yeah, let's just test that. So and now we are out of stock. And if you throw something in, as you can see, it will not accept the diamond. And uh, your customer can just take your the diamond back and message you that you're out of stock or something, um, which is really cool. He will not get scammed. And uh, to restock, it's really simple. Just put some blocks in there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it will accept the diamond again and you will, you will get your stuff. So as I said, here's your diamond chest. Um, I have 10 that now. And um, as you can see, I made the exact same platform because you probably want to build it on the ground. Yeah, otherwise, not a lot of people will go to your shop. So just for reference, this is the hopper where you're going to... Uh, where your customers are going to drop diamonds in. And this is your dispenser. And um, yeah, you want to go 5 blocks down. 3 blocks to this side and 4 blocks to that side and also those 2 extra blocks because here's going to be your payment chest as you can see here it is an area hopper slot right there so oops I understood it but yeah that's how it's going to work so um, so yeah let's start the tutorial now so this is the lowest block as you can see it's that one with the repeater there and so yeah as I already said it you need a repeater on this block and you want uh, one on block up and another one up, break these two. And um, you want uh, a redstone torch on the side. And on this side, you want a redstone dust on top. So um, then two blocks with another, another redstone dust. And then a comparator here. And here you want a hopper, but you need to connect it to your payment chest. So as you can see, here is the chest, and here are the hoppers. Um, later in here, we will put in. Um, yeah, what you want your customers to pay, but uh, we'll leave that for now. This hopper where they are actually going to throw their diamonds in, it's that one. So you can also place your dispenser. And I'll just make, and I'll just place a few blocks. As you can see, it looks like this now. Um, okay, and then you want a redstone torch there, a block, a redstone torch, a block, and another redstone torch. Then um, a block there, and a block there. And on the first one you want a repeater, and on the second one you want red and dust. Okay, then you can place your hopper here, and another time this chest. And you want a slab. It's the only slab you need. With a red and comparator on top. Then a block in front. And you can go two down and break the middle one. With red and dust on top. No, red and dust, yes. And then down here you want a block next to this um, hopper. And I want three blocks on this side with repeater there and two reds and dust. As you can see, um, this this uh, middle this reds and dust connects to this one, and you don't want that, so place place a block. And then you can pr pr place um, a comparator here. And what this will do is it will power this block, which powers this hopper there, if there is no stock. So that means if you throw something, it will not take the diamond because the hopper is locked because we don't have any stock. So. If you stock it with coal or something, and we throw in a diamond. So as you can see, the diamond is now in the hopper, and what you want to do is, um, or whatever you want for payment, um, you want to put in a random stackable block. So I'm going to use some slabs for this, you can put any item or any block you want in it. Um, it needs to be stackable, of course. Make sure to name it in an anvil, because otherwise people can just throw this block in here, It will, um, and they will still get the item. And, but um, your machine will also break and that's no, not fun for anyone. So I want to put in a block in every slot and then um, in the first one I like to put um, 18 like that. And if there is any extra diamonds as you can see we got the coal block there um, and uh, the diamond will be in the chest so as you can see if you put something in we got a coal block. So this thing actually works now. Um, as you can see, there is some reds invisible. I like to put a trapdoor or something. Um, you can also you can uh, also put stairs, whatever you want. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. 
and how this works for you make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content and i'll see you all next time bye